to Spain. He wants to go to Rome. He wants to go to Spain. And he wants to keep going. Uh, verse 3, But the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen and protect you from the evil one. Verse 5, Jimmy. I pray that the Lord will guide you to, to be as loving as God and as patient as Christ. So, so he's kind of just kind of encouraging them. By the way, Paul eventually is going to wind up in jail for four years, mm -hmm. appearing before the emperor. So, so he knows it's not going to be totally good. So he's saying, you need to maintain yourself uh, in verse 10. For even when we were with you, we used to give you this order. If anyone is not willing to work, then he's not to eat either. So don't just, you know, like they did in the, in the 1844s and the 2000s, sell all the stuff and go sit up on the mountain waiting for Jesus. No, if you don't work, you don't eat. So be about your father's business, even though you're waiting for the second coming. Be about your father's business. In fact, verse 14. Let's read that one. Anybody being mean or wicked? And if anyone does not obey our word in this epistle, note that person and do not keep company with him, that he may be ashamed. Yeah, if someone's going to be obstinate, well, I know when Jesus is coming. You can't tell me I don't. I don't, know. don't even associate with him. Verse 16, now may the Lord of peace himself continually grant you peace in every circumstance. The Lord be with you all. And I, Paulos, write this, my letter, sign his letter. <clears throat> so we're, we're going to face some tough stuff, folks. Um, we had a, I had a little hint of it in 2008. Man, I invested all my money in my house and and stuff and my house was over a hundred thousand dollars in value you know it was my escrow was up here and I had I was whatever I wasn't I wasn't upside down I was high side up and you know my house was worth a hundred twenty thousand dollars Zillow said you know man and then 2008 <laughs> one time my house that was at about a hundred twenty thousand dollar value Zillow estimated at like $46,000 in Clayton County. It was less than half. Now remember, Clayton lost accreditation at one point. The stock market and everything fell. So you put all your, your effort and stuff in this world, it's going to collapse. Mm -hmm. And of course, now, just the other day, the Dow made it over $21,000. Yeah. Fake. Mm -hmm. It's all... Fake, fake money, <laughs> smoke and mirrors, and there has to be every person that I there needs to be an, there's going to be an adjustment. It's not a matter of if; it's a matter of when it happens. So you know, some trust in chariots and some in horses, some trust in Wall Street, but we trust in the Lord our God. Amen. 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 I want to take maybe seven eight minutes to go over the words and just be prepping you. For the uh, midterm. By the way, I stole, uh, not stole, not stole. Mm -hmm. borrowed Madison's sheet, and so she had answered some of these. So we're looking at the word sheet. You should have one with you. And yeah, there you go. So you got yours, and you got this good, Mitch. Um, and she had it all the way down to Catalasso. I suggested on number five metamorphosis she had transformation I would suggest write down like a larva to a butterfly like an earthly body to a heavenly body a metamorphosis is a major translation doulos servant slave monotheos one God Eucharist good grace and remember there is a family of words charis is grace Remember that? It's down here somewhere, too. Yeah, down at number 19. Charis is grace. Kara, Philippians, was joy. Eucharistio is I'm thankful. Charisma is full of gifts, full of grace. So it's a sister, what do you call it? A family of words in, in Greek. Bema, the, the reward seat of Christ, catalasso, reconcile. What do you have for kenosis? Anybody got a number 11? Well, I have a means to empty. 
empty. Yeah. Had this attitude that was in Christ. He humbled himself. He did not grasp at equality with God. So the Son of God emptied himself, became a servant. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. So kenosis means that emptying that Jesus did in order to go to the cross. Uh-oh, scubala. What no? Crap. Crap. I was going to say, Leroy would say. No. <laughs> yeah, dumb. Crap. Uh, so what, what was the context in which Paul used that? He said, you want to brag? I'm a Hebrew of Hebrews, a Pharisee of Pharisees, of the tribe of Benjamin, circumcised the sixth, eighth day, studied under Gamaliel, and I counted all a bunch of crap, all a bunch of dung, that I may inherit the cross and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. I count it as nothing. Maybe that's a little bit nicer. <clears throat> it's on video. <laughs> I count it as dumb that I might inherit resurrection of Christ. Icon means, in, in English we have a word icon. It means picture or representation. A Philippians Colossians says Jesus is the exact icon of God. He's the exact reputation, representation of God. God is loving, His Son is loving. God is compassionate, Jesus is compassionate. So on. And we really hit parousia tonight. Parousia means presence, presence arrival. arrival. Yeah, presence, arrival, coming of Jesus. Now, we just hit apostasy, so what does that mean? Turning away from God. Falling, away. falling away, especially under Antichrist. Falling away. The falling away from the the things of God. Ecclesiology, study of the church. Episcopos. Everybody look up for a minute. Here's Episcopos. Overseer. Overseer or bishop. So Episcopos means overseer of bishop. Epi on top of scopos. Scope. Overseer of bishop. And these are things of ecclesiology that Paul wants you to know. So what is presbuteros? Elder. Elder, elder. So like the Presbyterian form of government, the elders rule, there's an elder rule, uh, and so on and so forth. We already ran over Karis, but with Karis, just grace, remember, maybe write down Kara is joy. Charisma is being gifted with grace. And so it's a family of words. Eucharistio is I am thankful. Eucharist is the celebration of the sacrifice of Jesus. Okay. Agape love. is unconditional love. And that's the Greek word. Write down Greek beside that. And then hesed is Greek or Hebrew? Hebrew. Hebrew. Okay. Eschatology, study of the end times. And euangelion, good news or gospel. Whoa, what about that Ukate ego? It's one of your memory no verses. Longer, uh, no longer I. I no longer live. Galatians 2.20. No more I. If you are a Christian, you are not the boss of your own life. Christ, lives. Christ is the boss. Christ in you is. you got to get off the throne of your life and put Christ on the throne of your life. And Maranatha means the Lord comes. Paul said, if anyone doesn't agree with this, let him be anathema maranatha. Cursed at the Lord's coming. Okay. Dr. Just, Joe. Yeah. I have the answers to all of them on here. If you want to look at another copy. All right. I, I, wow. I do have all the answers. Good. Okay. Then, then you study, you yeah. form a study group and you have... <laughs> <laughs> we still have three weeks. I'm just kind of prepping you yeah, a little bit. I did write all the answers down. Okay. Uh, remember, we're going to do the 13 letters of Paul. And by the way, on the back of your, your original sheet, you had these. And so, remember, early letters, Galatians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians. Major letters, Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians. Uh, prison epistles, Philemon, Ephesians, Philippians, and Colossians. And then pastoral letters, Titus, 1st and 2nd Timothy.
Can you name all of 13 of them? Mm. Romans, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1 and 2 Thessalonians, 1 and 2 Timothy, Titus, and Philemon. Jamie, you're wanting to get out of here. Have a prayer for us. Oh, no, I don't like praying in public. You don't like, but you did the other day. Mm -hmm. You prayed before. Mm -hmm. I'll let her off the hook. Ron, would you pray for us? Sure. Let's bow our heads. Gracious Lord, we come to you on one accord simply saying thank you, God. Thank you, God, for the opportunity to increase our knowledge of you. Thank you, God, for fellowship and therein, God, sharing in with the joys of your word with each other. Thank you, God, for even having the mindset, God, of blessing us with an instructor, God, who has a mind of yours that will bring us closer to you in our understanding, God, that the kingdom indeed is to be lived here on earth. Mm, yes. Now, God, as we part, we continue to ask your blessing, your favor, mm. that you may grant it upon us, God, that we may continue not only to stand but to be examples for others. Mm. And then, God, we do ask all this until we do meet again. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Be blessed and be a blessing. You want to click it off, James? Thanks. Thanks.